Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew and welcome back to another Nibiru's tutorial video. Today we are going to be looking at signals, or more like um, different things that you can put on the track that tells the train what to do. Um, so we've got five types of signals. They are from left to right: um, the one-way signal, the station stop marker, block release, path signal, and no-way signal. Um, but out of these five, only one of them actually has the power to stop the train. Um, because of an on oncoming train or a danger and that is the path signal. Now the path signal is what you would normally associate as um, a signal in real life. It's the signal that has the aspects of red, green and yellow, um, in this case only yellow and red as such, um, which will then um, allow the train to um, proceed or make the train stop depending on whether there is another train um, in the line ahead up until the next signal or release. Now um, the next the signal to the left of it is the release. Now this is called a block release and what it does is um, marks the end of where the path signal will check and until so the path signal here will only check until the police here. If there was another path signal there instead of a police, it would check until there, and then the next path signal would check until the next police, etc. Um, now the I'm trying to think how to do this. Um, the one-way signal uh, pretty simply makes your lines one direction. No trains can run over it in the other direction. Station stop markers. Um, you've got to use them bidirectionally at each station platform um, if you're going to use them at all. Otherwise the train will stop in the centre of the platform, which is fine. But if you want to make it realistic and have them stop near the entrance, um, if you're going to build entrances etc to your stations um, using the building um, custom stations tool, um, then you might want to use them. But you have to put two per platform, otherwise the trains will just all think that it's for trains going the other direction. Um, if that makes any sense at all. Um, and the no way signal just means that trains will refuse to run down that bit of track. Um, if there are any questions, do let me know in the comments. Um, but we are now going to see if we can put some of these to use in a simple layout. So I'm just going to delete these ones. So we're going to start up at South Ricelip. I have got a terminus like siding and where the trains go to terminate. Now, this bit beyond here goes nowhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some no way signals either side which basically tells them they can't go up there. They have to go down here. I also want to make sure when they're coming out of the siding they always come onto this track and they always come in from this track. So if I just put some um, signals there that'll tell them that you come in there, you come out there. But at the moment there's no there's no signal to tell them if this platform is clear or if the siding is clear and now we have to use the path signals to do that because the trains actually need to know whether they can go or stop um, so we'll put a path signal there and now the hack is um, you can turn off the cone bit as well if you want um, but the cone will always like sort of reflect the way the signals pointing and also you can sort of see on here it's a little bit like an arrow um, and then if you click on it, it will show you that it's checking up until there. So if we then put another signal here, that's going to be checking. That's only going to check until here because it's the wrong direction. It's only going. It's going to check all the way through here. Now I want to put another signal at the other end of this platform because there's another junction here. Otherwise, I would probably put a release. I'm also going to put signals on approach to the junction here. I'm also going to put some one-way arrows to ensure that the trains go over the track in the right direction. Now, um, 
coming in from these two that is going to check all the way until oh, that signal there that's fine <coughs> it will also check if anything's coming on from there and vice versa it'll also check if anything's coming across there now after this I'm going to put Belize because it's a long time until I'm using other signal on here. Now in the other direction, um, I need another signal here because it goes into a one way bit. Um, now signals will work perfectly fine with one way bit with one way sections as well. I just recommend that you put one way markers again. Right. At the other end of the one-way bit, um, there's no, no other need for signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to signal it in, and I'm going to put block Belize. Um, I'm also going to put one-way markers again. There we go. Right, um, coming up here, um, right, so coming down here, there are also no signals for a little while. So I've put a Belize in. And then up here, we've got another station. So I need another signal. Now this station... I want the trains to continue all the way to like a buffer. Um, I didn't mean to put that there. All the way to like the buffer. So I'm going to put it up all the way, like a signal stop there. But that's that train's not going to understand it unless I put another one up here. And then it will go all the way down here and stop there. Like a buffer. I also want to put another signal coming out to check that it's clear. But we'll just use another Belize here. So that signal is kind of pointless because it's literally signaling it nowhere. Um, but some of the others, like junctions, it's obviously very important. Um, there's not really that much else to say. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just not use Belize's like I do in my in the Nimbrels MP, and you can just use like lots of these. Um, but that will in time get quite laggy because of the amount of signals you're putting in. Um, but yeah, there's not really much else to say. I know it's been a really, really, really short video. Um, I, if you do have any questions, let me know. But I am just going to go on to another save and show you what it should look like in the end all running. Okay, welcome to the Nimbu Rails MP. Um, it's very busy. Um, First of all, do you like the new Portsmouth area that I have recently designed um, and made? Um, just sort of giving a little look at what I've done. But um, in terms of the signals working, I need to find somewhere. Um, Brighton. Brighton's a great example because it's horribly signalled, <laughs> so we won't use Brighton. I feel like London Lambeth should be busy enough, um, but I need to get like a conflicting moment of some sort, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. Um, where else might there be good signalling? Is there anything chasing each other up the west coast main line? Not really. Is that train stopped? I need somewhere that's quite busy. Oh, here, Brad Bradford's having some trouble. Um, so if we're at Bradford, um, it doesn't actually look like it's been fully signalled. Um, that that's not good I will I will tell Alfie about that um, but yeah this is actually a great example because it's not working properly because it's not been signaled properly because these signals there aren't any signals coming out of the platforms um, it's treating it as one train can be in that area I'm hoping that's not just because they all want to go in the same platform. I hope it isn't. Um, but let's see if everything changes if I add in some path signals here. 
yep, see that train can now go in. Um, but obviously this train's getting stopped at this signal because there's a train up here, which it can't get past, so, um, which is quite good. But yes, um, I don't know if somewhere like, oh, Newcastle's probably quite busy. Um, Newcastle's having issues because of trains regulating, it would appear. Although, not necessarily, because it's this train that's waiting. Going Carlisle, Newcastle, somewhere. Don't know where. Um, but obviously, this train's having to wait for this train, and then this train's having to wait for this train because it wants to be on that platform, and then everything else is getting stuck behind that. And because of all the signals being put in rather than balises, they're not stopped right up behind each other, they're actually responding to signals. Anyway, that's all for me today. Um, there's not really much else to say. If you do want a more in-depth sort of video tutorial on me signalling, I might do a signalling live stream at some point if I feel like it on something. Like, um, I'm also thinking of maybe doing a Nibiru's live stream where I, when the new timetabling system comes out. Um, but I've probably said too much now. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you do have any questions, always, always, always leave them in the comments. I'm very happy to reply to anything, help you out at all. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we...